Hey, Rob here, and we're doing the news live from Cannes. Uh, I'm here with Chloe Wicks from Spotify, and we're doing this in person. This is the best to this do it in person. Uh, yes, yes. A so long time coming. You. Great Clo to see you, Chloe's Rob. head of product marketing at Spotify, and she's based in New York, and uh, yes. so glad to have you. So glad to be here. Thank you for having me. And how's your Cannes been so far? It's been great. It's been great. It's so nice to be back here, especially with so much distribution in the workforce globally, being able to be together, everyone just sort of catching up, um, meeting you for the first time. It's, it's really been an incredible experience just to connect. Awesome, thank you. And, and what, do you, what, do you, what are your like, top two things you wanna do while you're here? You know, the biggest thing for me is feedback. For us at Spotify, we are very much building a lot of new features. We're sort of transforming our business, especially on the advertising side, but also on the content side. And yeah. so we know that we can't make those big changes when it's not informed by the folks and the constituents that we work, for, work with and work for, whether it's a group like yours, whether it's, um, you know, peer platforms and, and whether it's customers. So it's been really, really exciting to already start to get that feedback loop going. Yeah. But that's the reason that I love coming to Cam. Uh, well, fun and can, right? It's always, always, always fun always and can. Always a blast. Always fun and can. So um, we're doing the news. Yes. And with the news, we talk about broader topics, not just brand safety, kind of broader to see. And, and there's no hotter topic in can right now than AI and creativity mm -hmm. and just AI in general. Yeah. So at Spotify, how are you thinking about AI? I mean, I would imagine, listen, I, I, I went for a run this morning, had my Spotify on, it told me what to listen to. Yes. So you've been, doing, you've been using it for a while, but talk a little bit about how you're thinking about AI. Yeah, and, it, it is. It truly is the topic du jour, as they say here in France. Uh, everybody is talking about it. It's such a hot ticket. And I think Spotify, we are very well known for our use of sort of what I will call the more traditional application of AI, which is the sort of predictive AI, what you've enjoyed in the past, what you've been listening to, um, and how that might inform what you might be interested in in the future. And so that's been a way that we've been able to get a lot of smaller artists, lesser known artists on the map. We're starting to do the same with podcasters. We, of course, have the big folks like Alex Cooper on our platform, um, but getting some of those smaller, lesser known voices front and center within the ecosystem that is Spotify is something that we're tremendously proud of. And so as a company, our main mission is really to help enable all of these creators, millions of creators, to live off of their art. Um, we do that by producing a, a scaled ad business, by also having a premium subscription service. But that really sort of confounds in a very interesting topic when it comes to AI, because first and foremost, AI is such a tool for us as it relates to the discoverability of new artists, new creators, which is great. It's also something that's been really useful from an ads perspective in helping to identify relevant users at the right time. Um, and then on the brand safety side, of course, being able to spot and identify content more quickly to take action has been a huge, huge focus for us. But we'd be remiss not to also acknowledge the fact that AI has some concerning components to it. You know, things like copyright infringement come to mind, especially as a, a platform that is so focused on and prioritizing the success and the longevity of creators. And so I will say it's something that we're definitely approaching cautiously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the rights holders, yes. you know, as a, as a collective, you know, they, they definitely spent a lot of time thinking about publishing and what can be shared and what could be, what, and, and, you know, we, another topic, but like, what is the, what is the chat GPT search uh, bar look like and, and, what, and who are they crawling? But that's, but, but IP specifically, when you talk yeah. about the music industry is important. So how are you thinking about IP infringement, music industry slash with AI? Like, how does that come together? What's the tip of the spear of the conversation right yeah, now? Yeah, and I think so much of it has to do with, first and foremost, us taking that, you know, individual ownership of that art so seriously, given the fact that it is the lifeblood of Spotify, is very much the lifeblood of our, of our organization. Um, but also it's the flip side, sort of what I was mentioning a bit, which is using predictive AI, using content understanding in the form of AI to help more readily detect some of those bad actors, those nefarious actors. And so we're very, very committed to continuing to develop our technology in, in that regard. Um, and it's something that we're sort of interestingly applying to both the content and then also the advertising side of the house within Spotify as well. How are we thinking about suitability, language, language in music, yeah. language in podcasts, making sure that ad adjacency, how are you thinking about that piece? Because obviously it's an important one and, and sometimes it's live. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for us, there's, there's a number of different ways that we think about this, but first and foremost, from, from a creator perspective, we want to make sure that our creators are empowered to create and to have a voice on our platform. And it's something that we have, have long since sort of advocated for, both in the form of music and, and podcasting as well. With that said, we also understand that every single brand has a unique criteria when it comes to what suitability means to them. We, of course, have sort of what Garm has helped us identify as a universal understanding of what the baseline is, things that absolutely should not be 
on platforms at all and also not monetize. So that's something that we work very closely with them on. We're very proud to work with your group on as well. Um, but then I think from a, a suitability standpoint in terms of what's most actionable, really creating products that drive transparency and choice. Because like I said, no one has a singular approach to what suitability is. Everyone is gonna have a slight variation when it comes to what they expect. And so for us, from a product perspective, it's really just about creating those opportunities to choose, whether it's different inventory, lyrics and music, different types of music, um, different genres of podcasting. And eventually, when we get to the world of audiobooks, thinking about that in turn, is really just driving as much choice as humanly possible, while also continuing to really apply that hard floor when it comes to things that we believe are completely unsuitable for Spotify as a whole. Got it. Um, Technology, creative IP, pulling it all together. I mean, I'm a radio fan. Yeah. So, Me too. You know, so, so with that, I'm a Spotify fan, of course. So anyway, thank you, always. Thank, thank you, you Rob. It was this. great to be yeah, here. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. That's the news.